Hello everyone, welcome to this flight training video. Today we're going to tie an extended body caddis pupa. So to start off, I'm going to tie the extended body. Here I've put on a needle onto or in the vise. And to make it easier to remove the body, I've just applied some dubbing wax onto the needle. For this extended body, I'm going to use the Uni A dot in olive. This one is going to be in an olive version. You can also tie it in, in tan. So I'm starting here right by the point of the needle and here you want to leave the thread and then what I'm using is this thin fly foam this one is a 2mm in the color olive and I'm going to cut off a strip about half a centimeter and then I cut a piece to about one and a half centimeter and then half a centimeter this way and here I want to taper this just a little so I'm going to cut this off at an angle so we'll have a narrower end here and a wider here and then it's really easy to tie this you put it on the top just a few millimeters extending two turns one underneath two above one underneath so two over and you want to slightly increase the size each turn and then two above one underneath and here for this last turn I'm going to make four segments so we'll have four segments and this little here at the end so for the last segment I'm going one turn then with the whip finish I'm going to make two more turns tighten and then cut it off but you want to leave some thread here we're going to tie this in later and it will make for a more durable fly so now you can take it off the needle and what you have here is this little nice extended body with nice segments and here underneath you barely see no thread then grab the long end here or the one you tied in first and holding the body we're going to pull this and this will unwrap the thread here in inside just a little and as you see if you hold this and pull the thread it's going to curve the body and this is really neat if you're doing mayfly extended bodies for mayfly with tails you get this nice natural bend to it in this case we're going to turn it upside down and this is going to give us this natural curve on the caddis pupa body then what I like to do is to trim the end off just a little this is going to give a much neater appearance and finish off this body in a nice way and then what you can do is you roll this between your fingers on onto the table and this will take away all bumps you have in this and make for a nice smooth body and then I'm going to color the top usually I do this on a piece of paper but here you just take your marker and you run it along the top the marker is a brownish color called walnut so there we have the top a little darker and the bottom just this caddis green color and for these what I do is I do a bunch of these at the same time 10, 20 and I just store them and then we're going to, to tie the flies you just grab one of these you tie it onto the fly and you're ready to go and now we're going to tie the actual fly so here in the device I have this Hanak H390BL this is this nice clink hammer hook and what you're looking for is a hook with a short shank and quite a wide gape so this one is perfect for this fly and then I'm going to grab the nano silk from sample fly this one 80 knot in olive I'm going to attach this just behind the eye a few turns you want to go back to about where the barb should be on the fly cut off the excess 
to blend in the foam body with uh, the rest of the fly I'm going to apply just a little bit of dubbing. Here I have some opossum dubbing in the color olive. So just a little. I'm going to apply a thin layer just here about where the barb would be if this hook would have a barb. And then grab your foam body and I'm going to attach this as we made four segments I'm going to attach this in between the third and the fourth segment right at the back of this dubbing so here a few turns you don't want to pull too tight on it or you'll just cut right through the foam so here a few turns then up to the next segment, we're going to tie this down as well, just as we did for the previous one. And then we still have these threads that we left, and the longer one, the one we pulled on before, you can just pull on it. When you get the body, it's straight like this, but if you pull on it, it's going to bend down just a little to give it a nice curve. And then what you do is you just bind these down really well and this way the body will keep its shape and also it's a lot more difficult to pull, pull away. Once you've secured this we can cut these off. A few more turns just to tidy up and here I have some dubbing I'm going to cut away. And then once you've done this we can then come back and really tie down this foam body. So a few quite hard turns, then reach in with your scissors and we're going to cut off this foam quite close. And then tie down this little piece of foam. And we're going to park the thread right here where the body stops or starts. And now we're going to add just a little bit of dubbing to blend in this body with the rest of the fly. So what I do is I'm going to apply this using the split thread technique. Spin your bobbin counterclockwise. This will flatten the thread and also it will allow you to split it in two with a needle. Then I'm going to grab exactly the same dubbing as I had before, this olive opossum. And I'm just going to add it pinch by pinch in between the two threads we have here. Then spin your bobbin clockwise again. This will core the thread and trap the stubbing in between but leaving a little longer fiber. So as if, if you would do this the usual way you would have much less of these longer fibers and also it really binds down the dubbing so it won't move or won't go anyway. And then same way you would for a soft tackle each turn you pull it back and this will give this nice dubbing color and this once it's wet it would really blend in this foam body with the rest so then to give this fly a little more life or the appearance of some translucency I'm going to add some pearl flash and this I'm going to add just one strand on each side so I'm going to tie this down my side first and then folding it over to the other side I'm going to tie this down once again and tying it down this way it really is durable and won't come out easily. So there we have one strand of flash on each side and then to add some bugginess to this fly I'm going to add a color of CDC here in the color 20 black. This one is from Marc Petit Jean. So what I do I selected one nice feather and then using this magic tool I've aligned all the fibers then I'm going to transfer this to the clip and this way I have the stem exposed and I can just cut this off 
So now I have a nice row of CDC fibers and this is really easy to apply to the fly. I'm going to use the split thread technique again. Spin the bobbin counterclockwise, split it in two, insert your CDC. And then what I like to do is just to push this together just a little. And then you start by spinning this between your fingers, this way. These won't come or won't fall out once you spin it. So spin your bobbin clockwise again, as we did before. And then we will end up with this CDC chenille. Once you have enough turns, we can then start winding this on exactly as we did for the dubbing. So one turn right in front of the previous one. And for each turn you want to pull back the fibers and make them lean slightly towards the back. And try not to get any fibers sticking out over the eye. And here I'm just going through with my dubbing brush to mix this a little bit together and then here in front I'm going to add just a little bit of extra dubbing this one is a mix between some UV ice dub, some horse ear and some some other hard dubbing in uh, or some opossum also in black and olive and brown so it makes for a really nice dark blend and I use this for quite a lot of my flies so I really like to add some UV materials as this UV ice dub just think it makes for a, for a nice looking fly and I also think it attracts the fish a little so why not add it then a few turns right in front And the last thing to do is to whip finish. Three turns. And I'm going to do the second one real quick. Pull really tight. And then cut off your thread. And now we can go back and brush out some of this dubbing in front. And this will mix really well with both the CDC and the other dubbing we had here in the back. And then to make for a really strong fly, I'm going to apply just a drop of uh, glue to the head. And this will really make sure it never comes undone. And then if you would like to, you could also cut away some of the CDC, but I tend to leave it just like this. It's nice to have some of these longer fibers as well, but it's up to you. And there we have the extended body caddis pupa. Thanks for liking and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time. There we have the extended body. And there we have the extended body's caddis. And there we have the extended body caddis mayfly. And there we have the extended body caddis pupa.